What is up guys? Today we are going to be checking out 10 weird things in Dutch supermarkets. So let's actually get on to it. Let's see what we have here today. I found this video on my recommended feed. So yeah, I thought it would be interesting for us to check out and see what we got. If you're new here, guys, don't forget to go smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. It really does help out with like me growing, support as well, everything, all that. And yeah, let's get on with it. Let's see what we got, guys. Let's foot into a grocery store in the Netherlands. It might seem normal at first with rows of colorful Let's turn it up a bit. And vegetables and neatly stacked shelves. But if you look closely, there are quite a bit of unique and unexpected things inside. So in today's video, we're going to take you on a fascinating journey through the top 10 most weird and distinctive things in a Dutch grocery store. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got, man. Let's get it in a Dutch grocery store, starting with one that caused us a lot of stress when we moved here. Number 10. What's this? This one's been mentioned in our other grocery store video, oh, but God. here in the Netherlands and in a lot of other countries here in Europe, you have to pass through security gates both when you go in and then when you leave the grocery what? store. But the catch is to exit, you'll need to have I your receipt to actually that. get the gates to open. So be sure to remember that when you're checking out at the grocery store. Okay. Also, you might be presented with a confusing- So if it's like your first time going to a grocery store and you have no idea about this, bro, you're in for, for big trouble, I mean. ...and stressful situation if you went to the store but didn't actually end up buying anything. But fret not, there's probably a employee of the grocery store nearby. The reason for these gates is obviously to prevent theft. They don't open from the inside, which is why you okay, need to have a receipt. Thing, or you need to I agree with this. Leaving the store if you didn't buy anything. Okay, now let's talk about why those sugary drinks might be costing you a lot more than you think. Number nine. If you find yourself purchasing bottles of juice, soda, or water, you might notice that they're a little bit more expensive than you might expect. And that's right. because there's an additional 15 cent tax added to each item. Oh, this taxes, is called Stasi Held. This is to discourage the use of plastics and also encourage recycling. But the good okay. thing is you can keep those empty bottles and return them to the store and get your 15 cents back. Wow, and that is amazing. People actually do this. There you and go, when bro. You're in the grocery store, you might notice people walking around with huge bags full of bottles, and that's probably what they're doing. I mean, bro, 15 cents is not it's a good price for just a bottle you drank the like the drink from. I mean, get that 15 cents back. And you are also helping like the environment. So pretty good cents. deal. Hell yeah. If you're familiar with the cereal aisle in an American grocery store, then you can easily visualize this next one. Number eight. Aside from cheese, the Dutch are also pretty well known for their love of potatoes, whether it's in a stamp pot or it's frites. And you'll see that reflected in the grocery store aisles as well. You can get nearly any shape of potato pre-cut in the grocery store. And they have tons of pre-seasoned potatoes too, along okay. with mashed and gratin all fresh in the refrigerated section. And this is a stark contrast to grocery stores in the United States where 90% of the potatoes that you're going to find are actually in the frozen section. Oh, and if you're looking wow. for the whole kind of potato... Shelves look a bit empty though, I must say. I have those too. Now, let's talk about something you don't see much of in grocery stores here. Number seven. Tampons without applicators are way more popular in the Netherlands than they are in the US, and that's probably because they're less expensive and better for the environment. But if it's not something you're used to, you might walk into a grocery store looking for tampons with applicators and they're nowhere to be found. All right. In fact, a lot of the pharmacy and self-care items can be found at the grocery store. They just have a very limited selection of them. So if you're looking for something specific like tampons with applicators, you're going to want to visit a drugstore like Atos or Crowded okay. Box, and you're going to find it there. Okay, if you've ever wanted to make fresh juice in the middle of a grocery store, you're what? Gonna love this next what one. is this? This is going to be good. The Netherlands have an orange juice machine. Okay. Yep. You can make your own orange juice fresh and right in the middle of most grocery stores here. Wow. I'm actually not sure that orange juice is more popular here than anywhere else. Like when we go to Japan, everyone drinks orange juice there. All the time. I, I But there's a fresh orange juice machine in most of the supermarkets that we've been to here. So and you can actually juice, drink that orange of... juice while you're shopping. Is that how it works as well? Other fruit That'll be pretty cool. They're either in the aisles or they're in the refrigerated section like you would expect. Yeah, for sure. We've okay. actually never used this machine. And I actually don't think I've ever <laughs> seen anyone use the machine when we're at the supermarket. Okay. So if you're one of the people that use this fresh orange juice machine, let us know in the comments. And I guess also let us know, is it that much better than the orange juice that you would buy? From the refrigerator section it well, probably is yeah, yeah. It's, fresh. it's gotta be come on bro it's fresh right there anyway let us know in the comments it might not be cold as you want it but bro it's fresh orange juice all right now let's talk about a dutch delicacy for those on the go number five 
Another Dutch food staple is herring, a raw herring that goes through a pickling process and is typically served alongside some raw onions. I just ate this in our GeoGuessr. Oh, no, I've seen and this before, bro. find these stands outside of train stations nah. or maybe inside of the weekend markets. And it's not just a tourist thing. A lot of locals really enjoy herring. Wow, herring. But I was kind of shocked that you could find the herring inside of the grocery store because it's actually like in the fish section, packaged and served with <laughs> the raw onions wow. inside. Wow. Yeah, so you could take it on the train with you. God. That's crazy, I don't think bro. I would That's ever crazy. Have a hankering for herring that was strong enough where I'm like inside of Albert Hein. I'm like, I gotta get Wait, this now. I don't know if I would do. try that either, bro. Yeah, I don't he know. tried it and was actually thought it was okay. Right? Okay, if you're looking to spice up your next sandwich, this might be just the thing you're looking for. Oh, your life oh, is going to change. That'd be interesting. Though. Number four. When we moved to the Netherlands, we were fully prepared to be introduced to a bunch of new cheese products that we weren't familiar with, like maybe some sort of cheese spread or some sort of new flavor of cream cheese. But this is one I'm still not sure I fully understand, and that's all of these flavored spreads. Upon further investigation, it seems like they're all just types of egg salad. So you can have like a farmer style egg salad or a chicken mango egg salad or... Bro, you know what I just remembered? Mentioning the egg salad, bro, I want an egg sandwich, bro. An egg sandwich. I haven't eaten that in ages, bro. I w I might actually go do that after this, bro. That's what I'm going to do. Egg sandwich. Even a hot wing egg salad. But this section of the grocery store is actually pretty big. And so much, in fact, that most of the local grocery brands here have their own house brands for this stuff. And they also make vegan versions of the most popular flavors. We are really curious about this stuff. It seems like it's really popular here. So we are going to try it in our okay. next video. Pray for us. I, everyone here is going to be like, what are they talking about? We eat this stuff all the time. It's not <laughs> weird, but... Have you ever had egg salad before? Yes, in Japan. Oh, right. In our 7-Eleven video yep. that no one watched. <laughs> and next, here's a good tip for you if you're looking for not fresh vegetables in the grocery store. Number three. Number three, in let's see. In the US, see. when we weren't buying fresh vegetables, we would usually buy frozen or canned vegetables. And coming to the Netherlands, we quickly realized that there are very few canned vegetables here, and most of them actually come in jars. After a few quick Google searches, I really couldn't find a reason for this. I mean, they look quite nice because you can see what's yeah. inside okay. the jar. Yeah. And another thing that I really love about this is you can actually just use the jar afterwards for things like salad dressing or pasta sauce. I mean, bro, for sure everyone does that. When you buy a jar of something inside, you keep that jar. <laughs> Excuse me. You keep the jar, so it's a win-win situation. Excuse me, my throat is a bit sore today, but I'll manage, don't worry. ...at home, and we have a ton of these inside of our cabinet right now. People are going to watch this one and be like, yeah, okay, so <laughs> canned vegetables are just in jars? That's really number three on their list? Yeah, I mean, it is, because, like, also, there's a... Hang on. I will say, though, like, some slack, the okay. jar things, like, it kind of makes it seem, like, fancy. Don't you yeah, think? It is fancy. Like, it looks really nice and it's glass. And like, honestly, in the US, they phased out a ton of glass stuff in the grocery store and it's all shoved in the plastic. So wow. I don't know, it, it seems fancy. This next one might be why your grocery bill is so high. Number oh two. God. Let's in the see. Netherlands, organic and non-organic produce are found in the same section. So this means when you're in the vegetable section, you're gonna see two cucumbers, two celeries and so on. Now, if you're in a rush, this might be a little confusing because you just run in, you just grab a vegetable and it might end up being the organic one, which you have to pay more for. Okay. Yeah, I definitely have purchased like a three euro <laughs> cucumber before by accident. Oh, was a good three euro it's cucumber. Expensive. The reason for this is probably just the to wait, better maybe? use the space in a grocery store since the grocery stores here tend to be on the smaller side. All that said, be sure to just make sure when you're buying fruits and vegetables at the grocery store that you're buying the one that you came in to buy and not either one that isn't organic or one that's more expensive than what you're expecting. Okay. Nice tip. <laughs> number two. Michelle wrote this. Do you want to write the list? And time? finally, the weirdest thing about oh, it. Oh, the weirdest store. one. Number one. You have to pay in euros. It's so weird. <laughs> what? You have to pay in euros. They won't take my US they dollars. They won't take our US dollars. It's so weird. Well, okay. Number one. Now, imagine this. You're on your way home from work and you need to stop by the grocery store. And it's about six o'clock in the evening. And you walk in, you walk up to the bakery section and it looks like this. 
That's what I mentioned before. The shelves did look a bit empty to me, bro. Damn. This Worst is actually nightmare. quite common because grocery stores in the Netherlands have their bread either baked in store or sent from a factory that same day. And due to the lack of preservatives, they don't really just like sit in the back of the grocery store, so there's not a surplus stock. So many times in the evening, you'll be left with next to nothing or just the really unpopular bread types. Yeah, but look at the bright side. You get to figure out what the unpopular bread types are here in the Netherlands. This is actually how I found all of the breads that are my least favorite. Yeah, and yeah. our favorites. Okay. <laughs> <That is true. laughs> We're like, oh, well, I mean, if everyone's eating this first, then I guess we should be too. So to avoid this, many people grocery shop in the morning. So to wait to find a good, like something you like you know the afternoons or if they see their favorite kind of bread they'll actually just buy a bunch of it and then they'll throw it in the freezer and thaw it out as needed yeah and that's it that's the official bun charted list of the weird or quirky things that wow. we run into here at that was quite interesting in the we want to know what are some things that are normal at your grocery store that you actually haven't seen anywhere else let's know in the comments hmm yeah do let me know in the comments below Anyway, that is it for today's video. It was an interesting one. Quite surprising as well. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. Don't forget, if you haven't already, go like the video, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, guys, we'll be seeing you on the next video. Have a good day and peace out.